Jared Cannonier oh. versus Kelvin Gastelum. Well, you know, you we <laughs> going going into this, you know, like I said, I love Kelvin. Uh, he, he's my my Roberto Duran of MMA. But you know, even before the fight started, you know, we texted and I said, yeah, I got I got Cannonier winning this. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just that you know, I do I do believe that you know you leave bits and pieces of yourself inside the cage with some of these wars and kelvin has had some wars now he's had some fights where he's just he's been the hammer and his opponent has been the nail you know like the bisping fight you know michael hardly touched him in that um he's had those kind of fights too you know the vitor belfort fight you know, he beat up vitor but that that fight that he had with israel mm -hmm. uh he left certain parts of himself in that cage that he's never gotten. He's never going to get back. And I just look at Jared really hasn't had uh, a lot of damage put on him. He's fast. He's strong now. He's he's a lot he's a lot older, but he hasn't had the the damage or wear that Kelvin has. And I just thought being that he's he's fast. He's got good stand up. He's got good wrestling as far as defensive wrestling, and he kicks hard. I just look. I said, you know, I think it's going to be too much for Kelvin in the end. And I think, you know, Kelvin fought a really good fight. He got dropped with that one shot and bounced up like that didn't hurt yeah. me. And you can see he was actually out for a second. Hits yep. the ground, wakes up, comes, and he's fighting and throwing combinations back. And you go, Kelvin Gastelum is just a savage. He is a stone savage. There's something special about the guy, but. He just didn't have enough to beat Jared on this night. Yeah, close. Though. Yeah, it was the. It looked like the power, just the strength, also was a factor. Um, yeah. The speed, obviously. I, for me, I felt like the speed in certain ex exchanges belonged to Cannoneer, and some of it belonged to uh, Kelvin. At times, yeah, at times. So I thought it was. I thought it was a very well evenly matched fight. Just was Kelvin needed to get the takedowns a little bit more, and he wasn't able to do that. Yeah. So I thought Jared did a great job of getting wrist control, hand control, turning, spinning back into him, making sure he get his double unders or his over under, you know, and start defending from there or make space and get away. He did a great job. He fought a very smart fight yep. uh, for thirty for thirty seven years old man. He's fucking aging like fine wine. That guy, yes. he's got, he's, he's like he's getting better and better every fight, which is hard, tough to do at thirty seven. Man, I was like, all right, get me out of this shit. You know what I mean? You start thinking about that. He seems like he's just getting better and better, and he's his confidence getting more and more. So this is a big fight. I had I had Kelvin. I, I last week I had Kelvin winning. Then I heard he had problems on the scale. Then I was like, ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah. You know. So I mean, but his cardio wasn't affected. I thought he, he, no. fought, he fought a good fight. He fought a good fight. He was just he wasn't as, he wasn't strong enough to get the, the takedown. And on the feet, they were about the same. Just Cannonier, I think, was a little bit faster and was able to hit him with a little, a little bit more faster. power. Yep. Yeah, a little bit faster was able but, to hit him with but, a little bit more Kelvin power. But Kelvin was able to land some good shots. Oh, yeah, he did. He really did. Yeah, he did. So. Yeah. But overall, it was an evenly matched fight. Good fight, though. And a I'm really good him. fight. It yeah, was. I enjoyed that fight. It was it was a good... I thought it was going to be a you know a well-contested fight off the beginning, and it lived up. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Both of them put out a lot of... A lot of effort, a lot of good technique throughout it, a lot of, you know, changing of what they I really love the way that Jared Cannonier just the effortlessly moves from Southpaw to Orthodox, back to Southpaw, and within two seconds he's back to Orthodox, and he's back to Southpaw. It's like yeah. you would drive me fucking crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right, everyone, go to mybookie.ag, use the promo code WayneIn, and you can make bets on every sport there is. Basketball, tennis, soccer, golf, and even during the election time, they had bets on that. They've got different types of bets for all different sports, and including one of our favorite sports that we love to talk about, MMA and also boxing. So make sure you go to mybookie.ag, use the promo code WayneIn.